Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is getting posted on Thursday instead of Friday because today's October 1st and this is my 31 movies for the Halloween season since Halloween is my favorite holiday and I will have them linked down below so you can check them out. You'll get this little printout that I made. You can print it out yourself if you so choose. So this is gonna be a quick video. There's not a lot to say, but this is something that I've done every October since high school. I have chosen 31 movies and attempted to uh, watch all 31, one every day in October. Typically I miss a couple because I get busy, but with this year being the year of COVID, I might actually get to watch all 31 this year. So we'll see. Some of them are easy, short ones, and some of them are not. Some of them are classic horror films. We got a whole array of things on here. So let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, so here is the list. And we got Sleepy Hollow, the one with Johnny Depp. I haven't actually ever seen this movie, but I noticed that Netflix has it. So I added that to the list this year. Next up we have The Shining, and these are in no particular order, by the way. It's just kind of whichever one you're feeling that night. Next is The Shining. It's a classic. I've seen it. My book is on my Halloween reading list. Um, so hopefully I'll, I, I want to space them out so I'm not watching the movie and reading the book at the same time. So we'll see. Beetlejuice, Corpse Bride, uh, love that movie. I love the soundtrack to that movie. I think I actually like it better than Nightmare Before Christmas. Both Tim Burton films, both amazing. And there are some, like I said, some not like scary movies on here. My boyfriend will watch some of these with me. He doesn't do horror films. He doesn't like them. So there are some family friendly movies on here. <laughs> Plus I love The Corpse Bride. Next up is The Conjuring. And then we have Insidious, the first one. The Exorcist, classic. Annabelle, Friday the 13th, the original, not any of those remakes that are actually awful. Um, it Chapter One, that is the remake. I actually really, really liked the It remakes. I thought they were really, really good. So I know not everybody thought that. That's fine. If you want to watch the OG It, be my guest. I'm going to watch the remake of the first one because I like that better than the second. Nightmare on Elm Street. Have they ever made that movie? I know there's like more than one. I'm not sure, but the OG. Deliver Us from Evil. This movie came out when I was in high school and I feel like it didn't get enough hype like it should. So I really like it. I own it. I thought it was a great movie. If you haven't seen any like possession movies, I highly recommend. Insidious Chapter 2. Coraline, another good cartoon that's honestly kind of creepy. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So that one's really easy and short. If you're busy and you wanna watch it, I watch this one every single year. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the Disney car cartoon that was made in 1949. If you have never seen this, oh my God, I think it's like only 30 minutes long. The soundtrack is amazing. It's so good, I love it so much. Halloween, the original. Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween Town. Sinister, another really good one. Rosemary's Baby, a great one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. I really like a good slasher flick and I find that one to probably be my favorite. Cabin in the Woods, great cult classic. I love it, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. It's kind of, it's not a spoof, but it kind of is, if that makes sense. Hocus Pocus, Sixth Sense. Amnyville Horror. Now there are loads of Amnyville Horrors. I haven't really specified which one on here. I don't know. I'll probably find, there's gotta be one of them on one of the streaming platforms for free. So uh, to me, it doesn't really matter. There's one with Ryan Reynolds that like isn't that bad, but there's loads of Amnyville Horrors. Scream, Psycho, the original. Rear Window, which is another Alfred Hitchcock, and this one's more of a suspense. It's kind of a murder mystery, so if you don't really like horror, that's a good one for you too. 
Coco classic. I love it and it's, you know, it's Day of the Dead, Halloween, fits the theme, and I think it's a really cute movie. And lastly, we have Arsenic and Old Lace, which is an old movie that I used to watch with my mom every October and it's funny and good. It's not scary and I highly recommend. Basically, it's about these two old women who do mercy killings for old single men and they think that they are literally just providing like mercy for for these men and it's quite funny it's really good I highly recommend um but yeah this is the list and like i said no particular order for this list watch i'm gonna watch like whatever i feel that night like depending on if i have people over which ones they want to watch but i am going to try and get all 31 of these in this month and because today is october 1st i went ahead and just decided to do this and upload it early and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and link this down below for you guys no particular order and this list is not like the list that i do every single year i switch it around a lot there was one year in college that i was really into like the monster movies so i was doing i watched like the original frankenstein the original dracula or like one of the first draculas I don't, the Bram stoker one um and so that was that had a lot on this list so it changes every year this year the vibe i was kind of going for some classic horror and yeah this is my list and that is really all for this video i know it's really really quick but i wanted to kick october off with this list again i will link it down below and you can get like the graphics that i made and go ahead and download it yourself i'll link it to probably i'll have a blog post about it too so there we go. I guess that's all I have. If you guys would please like and subscribe, that means like the world to me. Also follow me on Instagram because I'll post what movies I'm watching and when I'm watching them and all that good stuff. And we can see how many of these we can actually get through. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Today was a super, super quick video. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go and happy October.